We're coming off a tough trip. Uh, we got home late last night. We wrestled uh, a number 25 ranked Rutgers team Friday and number one Penn State Sunday. Uh, guys did a great job. Uh, we came away with two losses. Friday night was uh, we, we tied. We lost by criteria. Uh, had a great upset win by Mason Reinhardt, who is really looking good. Uh, upset the number 16th ranked wrestler. And then we uh, went to Penn State and had two guys uh, beat a number four ranked wrestler, Tristan Moran, at 141 pounds and um, 149 pounds. Cole Martin uh, upset the 10th ranked wrestler. So our guys are coming along. Uh, again, we don't like to lose, but uh, a lot of positive things have come out of that. And then uh, Friday night, we take on a great Northwestern team and just happy to be back home for, uh, you know, we haven't been there in almost two months. Take questions. Todd. Chris, as, you've, as you pictured your first season or this season going along, are you hitting the milestone, a mile post that you hoped you would and, and seeing the, the kind of growth that you thought you would see with your, your group and, and what kind of growth has that been, I guess? Yeah, absolutely. You know, I don't really evaluate the season until what we do at the NCAA tournament, but the growth that this team has had from when I got here April 1st till now has just been unbelievable um, in all aspects. You know, the first thing is, is, is what the team has bought into. Uh, it was a struggle at first, but now I think these guys are seeing the results of, of how hard we work. These guys are winning, uh, you know, against Penn State. We, 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 uh, you know, Cole Martin had to come back in the third period to win with 20 seconds left. Tristan Moran had to win in overtime. Our guys are winning late in the third period, um, and that's a staple of our program. So the growth has been uh, unbelievable in the buy-in. The growth has been unbelievable in uh, how close the team has come together. And uh, again, I'm excited for what, uh, how far we can take these guys with the Big Tens in, uh, you know, seven weeks here. Left hand. Sorry. Um, I know even though it was a loss yesterday at Penn State, but you did guys get the most points off of them that they've given up all season. Is there some solace in that, you know, some lesson still, something you can take away from that, that you gave them the toughest match they've had all season? Yeah, it, it's not that we gave them the toughest match, but it was how, how, how well our guys wrestled and how well our guys fought. I mean, we were the underdog in nine out of the ten matches, and um, they went out there and fought hard, and, and the results showed. I think they, they saw that what, what, what a little bit of fight can do, what a little bit of belief in what we've been doing as a team can do and uh, yeah, we, we took a lot away from it. You know, a lot of positives to build on. Um, and uh, just it was, uh, wasn't just that it was Penn State, the number one ranked team. You know, they had a you know, crowd to sell out. There's 7,000 people, they're all over our guys. And uh, the way they responded, uh, it was the second leg of our road trip. We wrestled Friday night. You expect a little bit of a, uh, you know, less energized team, but um, they were energized, they were enthusiastic, they wrestled hard. Uh, and it's a ton to build off. If we can bring that kind of energy and uh, effort to every match, it's going to be a real fun team to watch here down the stretch. Right. Uh, Tristan Moran, he's, what, how has he been able to progress like he has? You, know, you talked about your team buying in. Obviously, he must have along the way. But where is his growth um, from when you first got here to where he is now? Well, first, first of all, he's a, he's a wrestling junkie. Um, this guy knows every wrestler. This guy watches a lot of film. He knows every opponent. Uh, but also, it's been his nutrition. Um, when he got here, he was big, and he was, you know, and he's brought his weight down. And at first, it really hurt him. Uh, but his nutrition now is on point. He's been working with our nutritionist. His conditioning is finally getting to where it needs to be. Um, and the fact that he can just flat out wrestle. He's got a different kind of funky little style that's hard to uh, game plan for, it's hard to scout for. Uh, and, and the kid's a good wrestler, so you take a good wrestler who loves wrestling, who loves practice, who's uh, getting his nutrition on point, who's in good shape, uh, he's going to be in every match and very tough to beat. Dan? You talked about the atmosphere at Penn State. How much has the changes that you've made to the field house, and how much will that help your team as you come home after two months? It is awesome. Uh, I love the environment in the field house. We just got to put about 10 times more people in there, right? Uh, you know, the 1,500 that we're getting is not quite enough. Uh, but it'll come, I think, when, when uh, our team's exciting to watch. But the atmosphere is a lot, you know. Um, you know, the, re the, the crowd influences the referee a ton. You know, we need a crowd out there to, to influence the referee. We need the crowd to, you know, influence the other team. We need the crowd to get on other coaches to make them make bad decisions. So um, it, it, it's coming. You know, the crowd is coming. I see it in, uh, you know, the emails, the, the text messages, people that are bringing high school teams now. Uh, the crowd's going to be there, whether it's this year, next year, or the year after. I guarantee you we start, we start putting, you know, 4,000, 5,000 people in there very soon. Todd? Can you give us an overview of what the, the Big Ten 
is like this year? Obviously, very, very top heavy as usual, but uh, what, what does top to bottom look like? Yeah, it's loaded. Um, you know, it's, 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 I mean, Penn State's by and far right now the number one ranked team in the country. You've got Ohio State at number two. Uh, you know, all the way down, we beat, we beat a, a Nebraska team um, on criteria. Rutgers beats us, and they're ranked 25. Uh, so, so it's it's loaded. I mean, it's you know I think they have us anywhere from, I mean I don't know we're six to eleven in the Big Ten, and um, you know but we also what we're you know and we're ranked tenth through or through twenty four in the country, so um, it's top heavy. It's loaded. Uh, Penn State is is dominant right now, um, and Ohio State is probably a dominant too. Uh, so we're uh, we're chasing those guys, but um, that's 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 what we love about being in the Big Ten. Todd. I know you can't give a lot of names, but in your recruiting efforts, what you've tried to, to do that, have you, have you hit the areas, hit the, the kind of people, the kind of athletes that you, you want to get? And what's kind of the, the focus? What are your like, top, top keys of what you want out of a student athlete? Yeah, we can actually talk about the guys we signed in November, but uh, we are very fired up about our class. Um, you know, Eric Barnett, number one ranked kid in the country out of Hortonville, uh, was going to North Carolina that we were able to flip when we first got here. Uh, is going to be a big impact. Uh, Josh Otto out of Arrowhead High School, uh, up at Arrowhead, is another kid that um, is a local kid that's ranked in the top ten in the country. Uh, and then we went, we went right, right, right outside our little area down the, to Montini Catholic and picked up the third best kid in the country, and Pete Christensen. Uh, who's a bigger guy who actually just beat the number one ranked wrestler in the country uh, this weekend in a tournament. Um, and, and then we got our guy, um, a kid that I was recruiting for a long time when I was at South Dakota State out of North Dakota. Um, he's a stud, five-time state champ. Um, that is uh, the kind of kid that is our kind of guy. That's the kind of kid we're looking for when you ask that question. Uh, someone that's great academically, that's great socially, uh, and, and he's that kid that will run through that wall for you without asking, you know, why do I have to do it, or is there a way around it, or, uh, you know. So um, his name is Kyle Berwick. He's he's going to be a, a really really sound recruit for us, and um, you know, great family. Comes from a coach's uh, dad's a coach, but um, that's the kind of kid we're looking for. Uh, again, academics are first and foremost, you know, and then socially, we're big into making sure they're great socially. Um, and then that last component we really love about recruits is do they like to compete? Do they like to compete? Is it, you know, are they not sleeping at night because they, got, they get a chance to wrestle the next day? You know, and then they, do, they get to wrestle the next day. And can I wrestle the next day? Those are the kind of kids that we're after and uh, kids that want to win Olympic medals. That's, that's uh, the kind of recruit we want. Brian. So on the mat, things are going well. As a head coach at the University of Wisconsin for the first time, what's it been like off the mat for you, getting used to everything that the university asks of you, what they ask of your student athletes, and, and how you're dealing with all those things? Yeah, I love it. I'm having the time of my life right now. Uh, I'm enjoying, you know, going to these basketball games and meeting meeting donors. Uh, you know, I'm enjoying the athletic department functions. It's been uh, it's been uh, unbelievable. Coach Alvarez is. Uh, is is unbelievable, and I've uh, I enjoy being around him, and I be, I enjoy being around the administration. Chris McIntosh and Doug Teat have really you know taken me and 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 shown me uh, what Madison's like and what the university is like. As far as the student athletes, uh, these guys are great. I have a great team, uh, you know, from volunteering. You know, a quick example was you know we have a little text message thread, and uh, we're going to the hospital uh, Wednesday night, and we did 12 volunteers in uh, three minutes on the on the thread. We had our volunteers filled up. And that's the kind of kids that they are. Um, I really love what the university asks of these guys because it, it, it is. It's not just about wrestling. It's not just about athletics. The university asks a lot from these guys from an academic standpoint, from a volunteering standpoint. Uh, and I'm just proud to say our guys are, are first and foremost, uh, you know, they're, they're all over it. They're not like, oh, I got to do this or I got to do that. It is, you know, when's the next opportunity to do that? When can we get out there and do that? So, uh, again, great team, great kids, and uh, the whole University of Wisconsin family and Madison has just been unbelievable, and I'm, uh, I can't be more happy to be here.